Oh, I'm supposed to review the Mandalorian. I mean, Mandalorian. Right. Wow. I don't even remember it. Let me just. I'll come back to you, and I'll remember. Surely, I'll I'll try to remember so I can review this shit. I mean, show. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Hi and welcome back. And to be honest, I really am struggling with this episode. Like, I don't care anymore, to be perfectly honest. Now, I did watch it. I am going to review it. I do remember bits and pieces, and I remember just being frustrated and just like, oh, whatever. And uh, so, I I actually actually went and wrote down some some points. You can see right here, so that I know what happens in what chronological order. So, uh, first C is Cyberpunk City. It's definitely not Coruscant, but you know, it, and you see the comms officer, I don't, I can't remember her name, whatever. Um, she gets out quite a bit, like, for the Republic to be watching over these people and, uh, spying on these people, it's like, uh, what? Anyway, uh, the, the episode is also called The Spy, and clearly she is a spy, and she contacts Moff Gideon and tells them that their plan in Navarre failed. Why does Navarre even have any meaning at all, other than that Grogu is there, and, uh, I don't know. Anyway, um, and she says that it failed because Mandalorians were there, not because the Republic helped, uh, then you see Gideon walking in his, uh, I don't know, base and uh, requ uh, contacts the other Imperial leaders that are, I guess this is supposed to be the Imperial remnants and they do actually, they are actually organized, but they have to appear not to be organized and shit. And uh, he requests additional troops and shit like that. And... Uh, they're like, yeah, but why do you need this? And then he explains, because I want to, and we need new leadership, and uh, screw you. And uh, uh, then they're like, Ad Grand Admiral Thrawn is on his way. Like, yeah, he's been on his way for so long. Where is he? He's not here. We need new leadership, blah, blah, blah. I'm guessing that Gideon is trying to be his, the leader of the remnants. And um, just Thrawn doesn't show up. This would have been a great opportunity to have Thrawn show up and say, I am here, or something like that, you know, whatever. Uh, and you will obey my orders and whatever else. Can who knows, you know. But can't have that because it's the Mandaborian and that that scene is made for uh, Ahsoka, Dave Filoni's alone show, whatever bullshit. Anyway, uh, the new Mandal Mandalorians, you know, that, uh, well, not new, but, uh, ho uh, the, the old group, they go to Navarre, they bring all their ships and everything. I don't understand why the big battleship doesn't just stay in orbit, you know, to protect the planet and, like, go back and forth for shifts and shit, whatever. I also don't understand why their settlement is so far outside of the city that you can't even really see the city from their settlement. It's like, what? And I see that my camera is a little bit choppy. Let's hope I can get through this without any issues. Anyway. I can't even read this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. They they meet the the other Mandalorians, Din Djarin's sect, and you can tell there's tension. The armor is like, hey, yeah, let's uh, work together and uh, have a feast tonight, and uh, there's a lot to talk about and bullshit, and uh, Mandalore is for all Mandalorians and whatever else. Anyway, during this feast... Uh... No, wait, no, that's that's too soon. 
uh, Din Djarin goes with uh, Grief Karga. You know, he has the present or whatever else. He presents to him uh, IG-12, which is IG-11's mechanical robot body that a small person can steer, like a mech suit, I guess. And Baby Grogu gets that, Baby Yoda, and uh, was freaking annoying with, yes, 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 no, no, no. Trying to steal shit, and like, okay, whatever, it's like, bullshit. Anyway, Bo Karen, I mean Bogaton, uh, suggests that they go to Mandalore and retake it, and it's like, and they need to find the old forge and, and rebuild their society there, and like, um, shouldn't you... If you want to go back to Mandalore, well, how about you check if there's water source, if there's food and shit, or if you can build crops, and or what can you do on that planet, you know, to survive, but no, who cares about that? We only care about the Forge and Mandalore. Who cares if it's desolate and not livable, but ah, who cares? Uh... They go to, you know, they, 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 t and they take the entire fleet. It's like, okay, how about, I mean, and, and she says, like, the entire fleet is going to be in orbit and we're going to take a scouting crew. Like, why, why don't you just take the scouting crew? If you can just fly there in five minutes and come back, you know, yeah. And then when they're on the planet Mandalore, they come across more Mandalorians that, uh, I am actually reading these points, so. Uh, they come across Mandalorians that, uh, she gave up on, you know, they stayed and fought and, you know, tried to help others and Bo, Bo Karen just left them and gave up and surrendered and, uh, was a failure again and again and again and again and again and, again and, again and, again and again. and, uh, anyway, they were... They were exploring the, the, the planet and uh, found where the forge was supposed to be and they came across Imperial troops and they fought against them and then they retreated and they rushed after them like like everything would be alright and then, oh, guess what? It's a trap and Din Djarin fights and gets captured and has Vizsla Stays behind, gets himself killed just to protect the others, showing what a failure that Bo Karen, I mean, Bo Katan really is. Again, I mean, at this point, you know, I mean, she's taken over the show. She's taken over Den Jarn's show. She's, and, and, and uh, Baby Yoda. Why, why bring Baby Yoda to. To this planet where it's fucking dangerous. I don't get it. You don't take any other younglings with you. Or wait, no, call, uh, parentheses. Um. Children. But, uh, I mean, at this point, they might have well just killed Din because it's no longer his show. Who cares? And he's got his balls and dick chopped off handed it to Karen and uh was like I serve you now lady crease instead of just continuing to say Bogotan it's like uh, uh so stupid so so stupid so you do you, you want to uh, do you want me to give this a review? I give it another 0 out of 10 because it's no longer The Mandalorian. It's the Bo Karen, I mean, Bo Katan show. And it's just, it's stupid. It's just plain freaking stupid. How many times does this woman have to fail at leadership until they're going to be like, okay, you know what? She's not the right person for the job. But it's a bait and switch, as we already established a couple of episodes ago. It's a bait and switch. That's what it is, and that's all that it will be. And 
I don't see anyone really interested in this anymore. They they watch it to review it just like I am. Or they watch it to laugh at it to see how horrible, how bad it actually gets. I mean, look. If if I put out of my mind that this is the Mandalorian show, the show for Din Djarin, if I put that out of my mind and just purely focus on the bullshit, I mean, not the bullshit, the, the good parts of this episode, generally there were more good parts than bad. I, I mean, there were a few stupid things like, why is Baby Yoda there? Why is the big battleship not in orbit? Why do they take the entire fleet? Why? You know, I, I've asked these questions while I was going through. Despite all that, it was a generally little bit of a better episode than the last one. But you know what it would have made it okay? If you wouldn't sideline the main fucking character! Don't put Din Djarin in his own show as a secondary character, which he is now. His balls and dick cut off and handed to Bo Karen. Then it would have been an okay episode. I might even give it a 4 out of 10 or 5 out of 10. But this is just, it's, con it's you know, it's just continuously... <laughs> Shit! That meme with the dog pooping and you see Disney Star Wars and the fan and the Star Wars fans underneath going... Ah, ah, ah. That's what the Mandalorian is now. That's what this show has become. It is crap. It was a bait and switch. And at this point, I couldn't care. It, not even a little bit about Bo Karen. I mean, Bo Katan. And I used to like her character. I mean, I'm still going to say that the actress is hot. And I think usually she does a, a, a decently good job. But the character is crap. I hate the character about as much as I hate Ray. Not the actress, don't get me wrong. The actresses, they are fine. They, they seem to be actually pretty good actresses. I just think the script is shit. And the portrayal, the way that, that they're supposed to play these characters. Shit. And you know, you know which Mandalorian would have been better to unite the Mandalorians, all of them? Din Jaren. You wonder, you know why? Because he's walked both paths. He knows the sect, and he knows that it's also bullshit about uh, taking off your your helmet. And he still went and did the ritual bathing bullcrap that nobody needed in episode two. Um. God, that feels like so long ago, and it feels like that was some pretty damn solid writing compared to this bullshit. Oh my god. Anyway. He could be able to take off his helmet, and you would have gotten some more Pedro Pascal. I, I know at least one person on the internet that I talk to regularly would have loved that. Three hundred mirrors. Anyway, um, it would have, it would, it just would have been so much better, and it would have made more sense if he was the one who would brought bring these these characters together. Because Bo Karen's old group, they know him. They know he can be depended on. He's the one with the freaking dark saber, or was until he just. Handed it over, like, oh, guess what? I mean, you saved me here. 
the F? Anyway, that that is what the Mandalorian is now. Following Star Wars Celebration and the trailer review of uh, Ahsoka, which actually kind of looks good, but I don't care about it. I mean, I'll watch it because I love Star Wars and I want to see everything Star Wars. But. And no excitement. No excitement whatsoever. So, hey, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this episode? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Which is fine. If you disagree with me, that's okay. If you liked this episode, if you think this episode was a 10 out of 10, or I'd just go with 20 out of 10, because it was that awesome, then I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Glad that you did. I wish I could. I just, no. I can't. Because it's just, it's all wrong. But anyway, let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you like this video, smash the like button. Consider subscribing. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. All right. Until next time, take care.